The National Arts Center Award recognizes recent work of an extraordinary nature in the past performance year. The recipient will receive a cash award from the NAC, the commemorative medallion from the Royal Canadian Mint, and a specially commissioned sculpture. This year, the NAC award goes to Sandra O. Oh. <laughs> Sandro is a versatile actor and an accomplished producer whose dynamic performances and compelling screen presence have won popular and critical acclaim. She's proud of her Korean heritage and her work in film and on television has been groundbreaking for her passionate advocacy for diversity and inclusion in casting. She's the co-executive producer and star of the hit BBC America spy series, Killing Eve, for which she won the Golden Globe, the Screen Actors Guild Award, and a Critics' Choice Award for Best Actress in a Drama Series. And she earned a Primetime Emmy nomination. Oh, by the way, she also co-hosted the 76th Annual Golden Globe Awards this year. She was the first Canadian and the first person of Asian descent to do so. Your Excellency, Sandra Oh. Excellency, honored guests, all who are here, and mom and dad. <laughs> I am so moved to be back in my hometown to receive the National Arts Center Award. It is truly a full circle moment because it was at the NAC, sitting in the audience in uh, 1980, watching a production of Annie, when I first felt my calling to be a performer. We were seated up in the balcony because I can remember the angle. The actors were very small, but they were just like me. They were girls. I felt this deep shaking inside. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and I knew I found something that was going to lead me to the rest of my life. The National Arts Center is also the place where I spent much of my formative years performing um, at the Canadian Improv Games. It was on that stage where I unabashedly performed a skit about me confronting my parents to let me attend the National Theatre School. Yep, I worked out all of that family drama in front of an audience while my parents sat in that audience. <laughs> Thank you, mom and dad. Art imitates life. Shortly after attending the National Theatre School, I made it there, the NAC stage is where I first spread my wings in a production of Oleana in 1995. I am so happy and grateful to be receiving this award. A lot has changed since my time in Ottawa and those early opportunities at the NAC. During the past year, I have been asked frequently about change in Hollywood, specifically in regards to diversity and inclusion of women and actors of color. What I'd like to share is that change is slow. It's very slow. And that's okay. We just got to keep on moving. And only it really happens, I believe, through um, our hearts. I believe it happens through art and the making of art. And I believe it's by developing the next generation. Not necessarily by changing current policies or even numbers of parts on screen, but by developing souls to be creative and fearless and free. I was lucky enough to develop through the NAC and the Canadian Improv Games and the National Theatre School. 
These creative institutions are public investments in developing and showing Canadian talent. I am eternally grateful to them and for them. Thank you and merci pour cette honneur.